Hey there guys, welcome. I'm on the road again. I have to leave Mexico urgently, as you can see. I'm here in the airport and I'm getting ready to leave the country. I gotta get out of the country. First time I've ever been in this airport. This is the Merida International Airport. Oh crap, immigration up ahead. I don't know if I have to deal with that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. They just announced on the loudspeaker. So they're just saying here on the... Let me let them shut up first. So they're saying, they're saying on the loudspeaker that um, we can check all the bags, carry on bags for free, but um, I'd rather take my bag with me. I don't feel like checking it and then, you know, there's a possibility of it getting lost and that I've dealt with Aero Mexico before, so I don't want to lose my bag, so no, I'm going to carry it on the plane, even if I have to keep it on my lap. All I got is this carry-on, see right there, that's all I got. And um, yeah, I'm gonna carry it on the plane. It's tempting to check it and pick it up at the final destination. But the last thing I want to do is my bag to get lost because I need to get out of the country badly, really bad. So, I guess I'll wait a little while and then we're going to board. Hey, I'm gonna take a 360 degree photo right here, all around, up and down. Awesome photo. Check it out on my. Doug P Vlogs Facebook for the YouTube channel and I have another channel called Doug P Vlogs 360 which is nothing but 360 degree photos so check it out guys and don't be late see you in a little bit I'll keep you updated on the situation okay I'm through security and I have checked in we are now boarding the plane as you can see the long lines I see the plane is packed but I'm not checking my bag I don't want to lose my bag last time I lost it took me six months to get a hardly any money for it we lost a lot of stuff so my bag stays with me at all times I'll show you in a bit what's going on plane now guys and I'm looking for my seat I'm lucky I got a window seat 26 F so I'm happy about the window seat I gotta fly to Mexico City let you know what time out there I got changed planes again to help me get out of the country of Mexico quick See, they have a lot of have a lot of storage, as you can see, a lot of room. But for some reason, they want everybody to check their bags. And I'm not dealing with that stuff. Oh, 
the leg room is good. They don't look too full yet to me. They said it's packed, so I'll find out very, very soon. Inside, I'm on F. I put my bag on this side. I can keep an eye on it. I'm, I'm right at the window. Thank okay. you. Guys, I'm lucky I got a window seat, see here. Got a window seat, see, I can get the view up, close it for now, maybe I'll leave it open. So it's not so dark on the video. So, my next destination in Mexico City. There, I'm gonna catch another plane. And, stay tuned for this adventure, escaping, escaping from Mexico, guys. Yeah, I'm going to take a 360 degree photo. Check it out on Doug P Vlogs and Doug P Vlogs 360 on Facebook. I'll take it right here. Link is up here. Check it out. Here we go guys. Heading out to the runway. Kind of an overcast looking day out there. Looks a little dark and gloomy. Maybe because I'm escaping Mexico. Let's see how it goes, guys. It's clear. 
clouds or if it's smog, but it looks hazy out there. Let's stay tuned to this escape from Mexico. Oh, look at the road, it's like a snake winding through the city. Elevated highway. Gracias, gracias. chips or cookies but here we are Benito Juarez International Airport in Mexico City <clears throat> I don't know if the air conditioner or what it's kind of chilly in here probably the air conditioner is cracked up high Luckily, I don't have no baggage to pick up. All I got is my roller bag. You can see down here. That's all I've got. Nothing else. Conexiones. Okay. A 
guys keep on going. Oh, it is a washroom. Maybe stop by a washroom. I gotta take a leak. Hope the line's not too bad. I see a bunch of people in line. Anyway, let me turn this off to head to the washroom. See you in a little bit. So that, guys, was one of the smallest washroom, airport washrooms I've ever seen in my life. It had two urinals and one toilet, one toilet stall and three sinks. That's all it had in there. There was like nothing in there. And there are a lot of people standing in line. Never seen that before. So here I am in the Mexico City airport. Wait for the next flight for this escape from Mexico. I am totally incognito if you notice. If you notice my outfit, I'm totally incognito. Nobody will notice me the way I'm dressed, you know. I'm like camouflaged right into the right into the atmosphere of this place. So it should not be too hard for me to do. So I've got a few hours to kill. I'm gonna get a place to sit down and relax here. I found I found a good spot. Relax a bit. Maybe I'll go get some food after that. Let's see what happens. Get a little hungry. Maybe get some Pringles. Pringles or something like that. Let's see what happened. Yeah, was the flight. The flight was great. It was absolutely very good. Very smooth. No bumping. No nothing. I hung my head down like that. I conked out and I must have slept a little over an hour really really good I got one coke to drink that's all they gave very cheap not even a bag of peanuts or a bag of pretzels well that's the way it goes they don't give you headphones anymore either yeah it's, it's just they're just cutting down so much on these airlines it's ridiculous hey but the leg room the leg room was okay I can't complain I had good leg room so that's one good thing so guys let me um, just sit down here a little while then I'll go look for a coke and some snacks or something like that so stay tuned don't go away hey guys so, um, I'm gonna look for some junk food, some snacks. Maybe some combos or some Pringles. Coke Zero. I'm not gonna eat real food yet. Snacks is what I'm looking for. And this is the place right here. There's people around the corner here, what's around here? Alright. I don't know yet where my connecting flight will be, so I'm gonna find out very soon. Oh, here's more snacks here, and there's more snacks here. Let me take a look at both of them. See what they got. I see Pepsi Zero and Pepsi Light. Oh, beer. Look at that, you can get beer. Skittles, chips, Pringles, yeah. some cookies. You never go wrong with cookies. Lemon cookies. Can of Pringles. And no beer for me. And a Pepsi Black. Mm. 
with that I'm gonna be set That'll do the trick for me. Buenos días. Hola, buenos días. ¿Sería todo para Sí, solo eso. ¿Algún chicle? No, nada. ¿Efectivo o tarjeta? Efectivo. No, no, sí te recibo. Okay, Gracias. Alright guys, I got some snacks. Hopefully that'll keep me going. I really don't want to eat an airport meal because these airport meals are usually pricey. So, see if I can find my spot that I was sitting earlier. That was an excellent spot. See how I get in there. That's an excellent spot to sit. Sit and chill out. Keep a low profile. Excuse me. Stupid people don't even move their feet. Put down all my snacks. Oh. Put down my snacks and where did I go? And I'll see you a little bit. I'm gonna jump food down and kick my feet up. See ya. A little bit. All right, guys. I'm getting really bored and tired of being at this place but I don't have much of a choice I just gotta stick it out so I'm um, gonna go check the board and see what gate I gotta be on for the next flight to get out of Mexico guys I gotta get out I gotta get out let me take a look. Let 
Let me check my um, ticket. So guys, next flight is on time. So I don't have to worry about that. I'll go see where it is so I have an idea. I'll go use the washroom. I still have a about an hour and a half left to wait. Ah, it's not too bad. But I do okay. need to get out of Mexico. Okay. I think it's more down there. Gate 58. Let's see. I'm going to try to edit this video tonight and upload it for you guys. If you check my community, you'll see why I haven't uploaded. Because I need to get out of the country. I need to get out of Mexico. It's very serious. Very, very serious. I need to get out. So where is the gate that I'm looking for? I think it's straight down. Straight down this way. I almost forgot what gate number it was. 58 I think I said. So let's go check it out guys. Up ahead says, look there up ahead. It says 52 to 62. 52 to 62. Damn, I got, I'm a long ways off. So let me head in that direction. I'm glad I got an hour and a half to wait. But it's about an hour, right? Because I gotta get onto the plane and all that still. So maybe it's about an hour. So where do I go? Six of you, seventy-four. All right, I'm lost. Okay, there, fifty-two to sixty-two. Up there, you see it? So that seems to be the direction. Let's see what rate the peso is. So. They are paying 1870 for a peso and you sell it to them and they're giving you 20 or 5 if you want to buy it from them. The Canadian they will buy it from you for 13 pesos for one Canadian dollar and they'll sell it to you for 1440. Ah, not a good rate. Oh, I didn't even see this part of the airport. I should have been around here. It's better than the other place I was in. I was boring. I think here they got a lot of shops that could could be looking at stuff. Well, let me find my gate. I could always come back and look at the gift stores. See what they got. Oh, look at that. They got a subway with a free refills a coke that would have been a better deal than paying 50 pesos for coke at the little fake stores that they have let me look at this map again What gate? It says gate 59 now. So I'm going the right way.
when you watch a video if you pause it you'll see where I am heading to but I'll be there before the video is uploaded so let's see let's see what rate exchange you give here okay they buy US for 1870 sell it to 2030 Canadian they buy for 13 sell for 1550 well you know you are you are at the airport so you're gonna get a much shittier deal right they don't give you a good deal here at the airport let's go 59 damn no I didn't even know about this section of the airport here this here is a much better area than where I was sitting I was sitting like in the ghetto the ghetto part of the airport here is pretty nice security check-in hopefully we don't have oh man we're probably gonna have to deal with those but heads again maybe or maybe that's only for him who knows who it could be for they got nice doors here really nice doors I was sitting in the ghetto part of the airport ghetto man it was really there was like nothing there except for a couple overpriced stores and some shitty restaurants Oh, here the store is going to be overpriced too, right? Okay. I need to go. 59.59 in Spanish. 59.59. Look around here in the airport. It's pretty nice here. Let's see what happens. Here we go. What's that there? DEA? That's not the real DEA, that's for heart attacks. In Spanish, it's DEA. <laughs> wow. 59 now. This place is far. I'm so glad I didn't check the last minute. I would have been screwed big time late for the plane like I always am I'm actually huffing and puffing from walking so far I'm getting hungry but I'm gonna wait till I till I reach my destination and get more normally priced food 59 let me just check let me check this message board one more time to be a hundred percent sure yeah I am gate 59 in Spanish 59 is 50 y nueve so the gate is right to my left Great. See when it pops up again. Okay, it should be the next one. Yeah. Gate 59 on time. Perfect. I'll find a place to sit around here. 58 59 right here there's nobody here yet perfect so I'm going to the washroom and then I'll come back here that was a long walk from where I was sitting I was sitting there for shit I've been sitting here since I forgot what time in the morning 
early I think it's a six hour wait I got here I'm glad I still gotta make it out of the country because I gotta get out man it's a big mission big big oh, this food smells so good ah they got sandwiches and crap but they're probably like two three hundred pesos for one no I'll wait till I get to a regular regular restaurant guys I'm going in the washroom so I'm going to turn this thing off I was gonna walk around and look around a little bit at some of the gift shops but the time is it's 25 to 3 the uh, 340 yeah I've got time let me walk up to the duty free on the other side take a look See what he got. Just to kill some time. I'm tired of sitting around. I get really hungry. Really, really hungry. But you know, I gotta stick it out. I gotta stick it out. I gotta survive. busy around here I'm so sorry I didn't come to this part of the airport I mean there's a lot of nice stores I could have been looking around in looking at stuff instead of sitting in the ghetto ghetto section of the airport I mean like man well you know you learn you live you learn Oh, I'm tired, I'm extremely tired, you know. I think I'm gonna probably just head back to where I was. I go and sit down. I don't really want to buy anything anyway. I want you guys to see it. Let's look around guys check it out got some nice stuff around here but I don't want to walk too much further oh man I'm smelling burgers and stuff wow that's a cool t-shirt look at that with the jacket with the skull awesome Some stuff in here. Nice, nice. Look at these bracelets. I just saw a video on YouTube by PP Peter. You get all this stuff, you know, all these bracelets, all these little souvenirs. You think they're made by some little old lady in the villages somewhere? They're actually made in China. That's what he was saying. He said, "He said I'm wearing this bracelet from I forgot where it was from three different countries." As he found out, they're all made in China, and then they sell it here. They even had shot glasses from Belize. Yeah, flags from Belize, shot glasses from Belize, from Mexico, from all over the world. And you go there to that store, some huge mall in China. And they got thousands and thousands of stores and they got souvenirs from all over the world so he says I'm not buying any more souvenirs he says yeah, he thought he was supporting some little old lady working hard making these handmade bracelets 
and all made by giant factories in China. So guys, I'm gonna head back to gate 59 where I gotta sit down and wait because I'm, I'm kind of tired, kind of exhausted. I got this mission. I gotta keep on going. I need to escape Mexico. What can I do? I gotta get out. You'll see why. I might reveal it later on why I gotta get out. I need to get out. I need to get out fast. But I can only get out as fast as the plane goes, but I got the quickest flight to get out of the country. So stay tuned guys. I'm heading back to gate 9. Yeah, screw it. I need another Coke Zero. And I need to eat some cookies or something. Because I am just famished and tired. What can I do? Do they have cookies here? Yeah, they got cookies. I'm not gonna buy Pringles. I'm gonna buy some of these cookies. Yeah. Oh, man. Hi. Yeah, I'm finding it already. Some Coke uh, Zero, some Pepsi, some cookies. <laughs> I have sandwich too. Sandwich too? Yeah. No, I like cookies. Okay. Right here? Okay. Okay. It's 150. I think I got five pesos in my pocket. Exactly. Thank you. All right. Thank you too. No. Thanks. Bye. Alright guys, I got myself two pack of Emperador cookies, which I like. And I got myself a Pepsi Zero. And yeah, I'm gonna sit down. Sit down by gate 59 and just relax. Take it easy. Wait for the plane to come in. It's not much more, 40 minutes. Here, there's not much seating around here. Let me grab this one right here. Let me grab this one right here. Otherwise, I'm gonna be screwed. And oh, I won't have a place to sit and eat. So, stay tuned, guys. I'm gonna relax here till they call us for the plane. And then, the journey, escape from Mexico, continues. Stay tuned. Guys, the journey continues. I'm going to board the next plane on my escape from Mexico. really really getting tired and sleepy I'm just sitting for hours and hours and hours and hours but I'm on the move now again 
Hopefully I can fall asleep on the plane. Sleep for a few more hours. Let's see what happens. Walking down this ramp. Where do I go now? Where do I go now? I don't know where I go. This way? I don't know where to go. Ah, I see the gate. Oh shit. I didn't know where to go. I was lost there for a moment. I mean, I was lost for a moment. I didn't know what the heck is going on. It was all glass walls and look over there. You can see the sign. T2 Mexico Benito Juarez. Can you see it? I'll try to zoom in. Here we go. Here we go guys, it's a full plane, look at this, totally full. Here it is perfect. So I got the worst seat, the worst seat in the plane, one right on the back with a wall right behind. 
so won't be able to recline at all and the one in front they're gonna recline now I'm gonna be stuck back here so yeah what can I do gotta escape keep on watching see you in a little bit guys well I think this will be the last bit of filming I do here in the plane as I said earlier I got the worst seat in the house right next to the bathroom luckily just two of us in three seats as you can see the middle seat is empty so that's good because I can stretch out my legs more I can't really lean back but what the heck but it's a full house as you can see look at that. it is packed one good thing about this seat if I gotta go to the bathroom right back there yeah if I gotta go to the bathroom right back there I don't have to walk far I should drink two or three coke zeros at the airport in Mexico City but I didn't because of that same reason anyway I got a movie here on TV they don't give headphones anymore now you gotta bring your own Bluetooth headphones and I don't have any because mine are broken gonna have to get some for a future date anyway that'll be the last of the plane because it's gonna get dark I think soon it's it's only four but you know how much can you film in the plane sitting in the back in the bathroom but then um, when the plane lands when I escape from Mexico stay tuned you're gonna see how I escape how I get out I need to get out and I'm gonna get out hopefully 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 this looks like a good movie I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look it up online maybe I can find it on Netflix or somewhere but here we go guys the plane is taking off we made it the plane has landed it was bad sitting in the back there except them um, why don't people go to the bathroom before they get on the plane as soon as the plane says you can get off your seat like everybody starts running to the bathroom and go take a pee or a poop or before you get into the plane like I did you know then maybe further in the trip you gotta go but not as soon as they say okay you can release your seat belts that's crazy anyway it was okay thank you bye holy crap look at this we are outside the airport I didn't know we'd be outside the airport I thought we'd be like on a on a you know like most places are this is insane wild yeah. get up my roller cool where am I guys have you guessed yet you got a bunch of dogs parking over there and here I am let me put this down just in case security stops me saw the security people near the <clears throat> near the main door there watching me kind of funny so I'm I put the camera down before they tell me to turn it off or want to delete my files or who knows what so you guys know where I am yet escape from Mexico continues it's not done yet man it's not done yet.
it's kind of cool. Not bad at all. Here we go. Yeah, the plane flight was very good. I, you know, I've lost a lot of weight going to the gym and then eating less, cutting on sugar. And then actually in those back seats, I was actually quite comfortable. It was not bad. I don't know, I must have shrunk or something. I must have shrunk. Because yeah, it wasn't too bad at all. It did help that there was nobody, nobody in the middle seat, you know. Or just me on the aisle and the guy in the middle. The bad thing was when it piled up with people going to the bathroom. Some of those people, they smell kind of bad. Heavy, heavy duty garlic scent. They did not smell too good. But besides that, then, all good, all good. Let me put on my shades, man. Why do I wear my shades? Why not? And it's bright enough here. So let's go. Actually, if there's a washroom, I will go take a leak because, you know, I don't know how much longer I'm going to have to be traveling around here. But Escape from Mexico continues. Find out what's going on. Find out why. But I need to get out. I already got a message. I need to get out. Just keep watching to the end. Find out where I'm going. Find out what this escape is all about. Here we go. You know, a lot of people don't like airports. But like me, I love airports. I just love airports. I wish I would have known in Mexico City that they had a, a really good area, you know, where they had all the duty-free stores and, and other souvenirs and stores and all that. I could have gone there. I would have hung out there and waited there. I would have went, um, <laughs> I would have went window shopping. I would have went window shopping and um, enjoyed it more. Got security here, so gotta be careful. Okay, they got officials up ahead, so I'm gonna turn this off for a little bit. Ah, no, I'll leave it on. What the hell? Identificación. 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 Identificación.
Tengo en residencia mexicana. ¿Dónde voy? Con esto ya está bien. ¿Ya está bien? Para allá. Ok. Gracias. Gracias. cops here and security in this airport I guess because of the reputation of where I am you'll find out very soon uh, very soon where I'm going Got to I gotta get out my ticket. I've got a ticket. An online ticket. And I've got to have that ready. B. I kind of know where it is. Who keep? Oh man, I gotta go pee. Okay, I got that ready. I gotta fix the pocket on this pants because it's working really bad. So, I think I go this way. I highly doubt I'm allowed to film around here, but what the heck. another video that I filmed <coughs> in this area that I haven't posted it. I'm going to be posting it very soon. Very, very soon. Con residencia americana, con visa o solo pasaporte. Can canadiense solo pasaporte. Gracias, bienvenida. Ok, gracias. Sí, ¿Dónde voy es? ahora? ¿Ya compró su ticket? Sí. CBX en Boeing Pass o en White Line. Ok, gracias.
¿Va a abordar? No, yo voy a caminar a... Oh, sí, eso. Ok. Guys, look to my left. My escape from Mexico is almost complete. Look up ahead. Yeah. Now you know where I am. <laughs> Why? Why though is this happening? You shall find out very soon. Now, going upstairs. chickens before they hatch. I thought that was Ted Cruz. <laughs> but it's not. It's a guy selling credit cards.
I'm gonna ask uh, for help. Since I'm a Canadian citizen, I don't need the permit. I saved myself six bucks. Perfect. Works for me. So next stop will be, guys, I am walking from Tijuana, Mexico. I am walking to the United States of America. There's a bridge right from the airport that will take you right into the United States in the San Diego area. You pay $20 and that's all it takes to walk across the bridge. You don't have to go into the city of Tijuana at all. Unless you want to, you can get out and come back in or you can walk just straight across. So that's what I'm doing. So my next stop will be United States Immigration. I'm traveling here with a Canadian passport, so, you know, that's the way to go. That's the way to go. Border crossing, straight ahead. Look there, straight ahead. USA border crossing. All I need is my Canadian passport. Beautiful. And no cell phones. So no cameras either. Yeah, down there? Alright. I'm in the United States, so I gotta be really careful with the camera. Piss it off if they find out. I'll explain more. A little bit later when I get through here, I don't even want to talk to the camera here. I don't want to get in trouble so I'm going to turn the camera off guys so just like that I'm in the United States <coughs> my voice is all scratchy I am in the USA so 
I need to see how I get a Uber to take me to my hotel. I need to change the lighting. No, no I'm doing okay. Let's see. Taxis and shuttles. All right. So guys, what I did, flew into Tijuana, Mexico. You can walk right from the Tijuana airport into the United States on that long bridge that you saw I was walking. And here I am. I gotta figure out how, 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 how. Let me see if I got Wi-Fi here. I got Wi-Fi. I get an Uber because I already looked it up. It's like 25 bucks. I don't know if I have Wi-Fi here. It says I'm still connected. I never did go pee. Oh, there's a washroom in there. Let me go check. That's chilly. Let me go check if there's a washroom in there. Gotta have a washroom. There it is. Guys, I'm gonna turn this off. Guys, I gotta try to connect here with some free Wi Fi. Mexican data roaming don't work. The CBX does give you free Wi-Fi. Now I gotta see how I make Uber work. Uber doesn't work. I'm gonna have to figure out something else. Come on. Let's do it, baby. I hope this works. I need to see how I get to the hotel. Alright. I hope it's working. No, I'll just take a cab. A cab is. A cab is gonna whap me. You know what's you know what's going on here? I am. Um, I took a cab this morning from Merida, Yucatan to the airport in Merida, from my house to the airport in Merida. I was going to pay him with a 500 pesos, but the guy didn't have change. So he says, he says, yeah, he said just paid later on, paid online. But, but because I owe him, I think it's 75 pesos. It's just not working. 50 bucks. I'm gonna add on to Uber Cash. Pay this guy. And pay off this guy. Guys, trouble. Pay with Uber Cash. I got a hundred bucks on Uber Cash. Come on. The balance is too low on Uber Credits. What do you mean my balance is too low? I put a hundred dollars on it. Guys, so for some reason Uber isn't working, so I'm I got a tax here, 25 bucks. Same price, if not, if not a little cheaper. Could you? All right. 
Alright guys, I got us a, a taxi because for some reason I can't get that Uber crap to work and I stuck a bunch of money on it. So I'm going to have to use a bunch of Uber once I figure out how to get it to work over here. I don't know what's going on. This pink one? Yes. Yeah. Alright. Guys, see you in a bit. Hey guys, look where I am. Look at this. I couldn't finish the video last night because several factors. One, my battery on the camera went dead. Look for the batteries with a bit of a problem. Second, the battery in my brain went dead. I was so exhausted, I could not keep on going. And third, my body was exhausted. I was tired, guys. So I pretty much went to the room. I tried even to edit this video last night, but I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I would just... Huh? What channel are you on? That's the name of my channel right here. Doug P Vlogs. Let me give you one of my cards. Alright. What do you guys, what do you do? I mean... Tra travel videos. Travel videos? Yeah. Alright. What do you think about this place? Huh? What do you think about this place? It's nice. That's nice. That's what I was telling the owners. Yeah, it used to be, it used to be bad. It used to be a bad place? Bad place. Nobody wanted to come here. But I think I think I stayed here a long time ago and everybody was smoking weed everywhere. People and were dope and everything. It's yeah. it changed, man. This place. And I came back and I thought, it looks different. It looks better. Yeah, they, it, it used to smell like weed, man. They had all kinds of... They had the whole bag full of trash. Crap people, people yeah. hanging around, yeah. So now we now we try to you know keep our guests you know safe. Yeah, that's good, yeah. I know, I like it, I like it. I appreciate it, man. I hope yeah. I, I told him I'm going to make a video about the hotel tomorrow. I'm going to make a video just about the hotel. All right. To promote it, you know, when you're traveling to Mexico. Yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, late at night you want to cross the border. You want to start off early. It's a perfect place to stay, really close to the border. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the way. That's what I'm doing. That's why I do the same thing. You know, when I'm near the border, I stay here. That's right. Yeah, all right. Leave me a comment on the channel. You're going to be on the video. All right. Okay. Yeah, guys, so um, I was really tired and I think I don't even have to mess with this. I was really tired and I had to quit. I tried to edit some video. I couldn't do it. My body would just not function anymore. So, I'm finishing it off for you guys now. And guess what, guys? I did a states, man. I don't reach a states. Yes, I. I did a states. So, now I'll let you guys know why I had to escape from Mexico and get to Mex get to out of Mexico fast. The reason is my computer, my laptop, broke. Broke down. No more good, can't fix again. So what I did in Mexico, if I order 
a laptop. It's going to have a Spanish keyboard. And um, I'm not a good enough typer to type in Spanish. Even though I took typing at Sacred Heart College in San Ignacio Town, I'm not a good enough typer. So, that's not going to work. What I did, I went on Amazon. I ordered my iPhone. Oh, first I found a really cheap flight to Tijuana. $200 round trip from Merida, Yucatan. So I figured, all right, I can buy a computer in the States. Let me go here. I, I need to get something to shave my neck. My neck is getting kind of wild. Thank you. I don't have anything like that here. What's it look like? You guys sell like um, shavers in it? Razors? Yeah, like the razors, yeah. Just a little pack. Yeah. Three twenty two. Three twenty two, all right. There you go. All right, thanks, sir. Huh? Yeah. I'm gonna take you right now to see. All right, yeah. Okay, thanks. I gotta try to get this out. I gotta try to get this video out for tomorrow. Oh, you're okay. Yeah. Huh? Are you ready? No, 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 no. I'm. It's a YouTube, YouTube video. Okay, just vlog, vlogs. Yeah, vlog. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand, Actually, you know what I'm doing. Okay. That's it right there. I'm gonna take you right now. We'll see. Yeah, check it out, man. Leave me a comment. Got it, got it. What's What's your name? Luis. Luis, all right. Uh, nice meeting you. You're gonna be on the channel. Nice to meet you. Okay. All right. all right. I got my. I got my shaver because um, I just need to trim up, trim up my beard a little bit. So anyway, what happened? I found a flight ticket from uh, Merida, Yucatan to Tijuana, Mexico for only 200 and I think it was 205 dollars round trip then I went on Amazon I found the laptop that I'm looking for and so I knew what I wanted then I know Motel 6 I stayed at Motel 6 before here I am in San Isidro California which is a part of San Diego so I went to Motel 6, I booked the reservation, and I went on Amazon, I bought the laptop and a couple other things I needed, and have them shipped to the hotel, to Motel 6. Then I called the motel and said, hey, you know, I'm going to be getting there tomorrow, and then um, there'll be a box coming in when it comes in, save it, check your thing, and they saw my reservation was there. Save me the packages. I'll be arriving there sometime at night. So, when I got here, I checked into the hotel. They had presents for me, man. Presents, yeah, from Amazon. So this is a great hotel, Motel 6 that I'm staying. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna make a video just of the hotel. I'll probably film that later today or tomorrow. So, now you guys know why I gone the states this the why this is why I had to escape fast 
from Mexico. I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> it sounded like I did something wrong. I made it like that just for fun. You know? But the reason I came is because I ordered that laptop and um, you know to edit videos you need you need pretty good quality laptop and I've never shipped it here before. They, I mean they don't know me. So I was a little little worried. A little bit. Alright man. Alright, I'm going. And um, but it worked out. Worked out great. Look at that pool behind me. It's a little chilly. I'd like to jump in, but it's a little chilly. Because, you know, I did a state. So, guys, that's the story. And I'm sticking to it. I'm in the United States, San Isidro, California, near San Diego. I came here to buy a laptop. So, I had to escape Mexico fast and get here. But, guys, worried about it. Shipping my laptop to a random hotel that doesn't know who I am. Yeah, I was a little worried, but very good people. Highly recommended. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share with all your friends. And when you come here to San Isidro, stay at this hotel, guys. Motel 6. Look at the awesome pool. Great place. Until next time. Bye bye.